Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. My name is Brad Ford, and I have the privilege of officiating at this wedding ceremony today. On behalf of Catherine and Greg, welcome and thank you for being here. They, of course, are delighted that you are here to share their joy in this special moment in their lives. By your presence here, you celebrate with them the love they have discovered, discovered with each other, and you support their decision to become husband and wife. To ensure this uh, ceremony is enjoyed by as many of you as possible, I do have a couple of requests that I'd like to ask of you. Once we get up here and I start to speak again, I'm going to invite you and ask you to make sure you turn your cameras and cell phones off, or on silent, or something anyways. Airplane mode is very popular, by the way. It uh, sometimes affects my microphones, so that would be great. We would appreciate that. I don't know if I need to keep announcing this, but I do, just in case there's somebody out there who thinks it would be a wonderful thing to throw confetti. It's not. <laughs> so please don't. However, on behalf of the resort here, they've asked me to uh, ask you to wait until the couple are on the grass, and then you can throw some grass seed fertilizer. <laughs> that would be great. And we're also going to ask you to wait until after the weekend to post anything to, to social uh, media. We'd like to give the couple uh, a day or two head start. To let them get their stuff up there if that's possible. The bride's ready, the groom's ready, the DJ is certainly ready, and you folks are ready. I think that means we're ready to go. of some of the customs of marriage have been lost in the midst of time, there are some things we do know. We do know that up until very recently, for almost all of human history, marriage was something that was usually arranged by the parents. 
and the wedding was about a transfer of property. The bride was transferred, transferred from the ownership of her father or brother or uncle or whoever it might be, mother, to the groom. And thus, at the beginning of the ceremony, the question was asked, who gives this woman to this man? You will recall, of course, that nobody asked her what she wanted. There, and, uh, but, it, but the groom's place in society was also changing. In marriage, he was receiving the first item of property he actually owned, and thus was deemed to be a man. Therefore, at the end of the ceremony, the declaration was made, I now declare you to be man and wife. Oh, wow, have we come a long way. In recent generations, our understanding of marriage has changed significantly. We now acknowledge and proclaim that marriage is to, be, is to be between two equal persons who together experience a love of such quality that they desire to live this love with each other for the rest of their lives. You know, it's starting to rain. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to skip a few things. Because if we try to shift, it's going to take us an hour to shift. So we're going to... Just a couple of questions. Catherine, I'm going to begin with you. I may be marrying you, but I'm not marrying you. <laughs> Catherine, do you make a commitment this day that you will always love and respect Craig? Be honest with him and stand by him, by him through whatever may come. I do. And Craig, you have chosen chosen Catherine to be your wife. Do you make a commitment this day that you will always love and respect her, be honest with her, and stand by her through whatever may come? And as you've been doing already, do you both promise to continue to love and support each other in order that you may continue to live in a harmonious relationship together? If so, respond, we do and we will. We do and we will. He said it out. Okay. In the spirit of joy and affirmation, I want to ask you now, Catherine and Craig's parents, family members and friends, a question. Do you give your loved one and friend your blessing and support, commending them to the care, care of their beloved with a strong wish and in a fervent hope they may have a long and wonderful life together? If so, respond, we do. We do. Now that was about you two. You two, what is it talking about here? But that was about... <laughs> yeah, you may be seated. They said yes. Okay. My tires, my tires. Okay. Catherine, will you give me flowers, please? Would you two move in front of me? Catherine and Craig, we, may, may, we now come to your vows. May I remind you that saying your vows is one thing, but nothing is more challenging than living them day by day. What you promise this day must be renewed tomorrow, and each and every day that stretches out, out out before you. You're going to share your own vows, and so, Catherine, we're going to begin with you. You got a pocket in that thing? Oh. I did want one. <laughs> okay. Craig, you are my first and adventure partner and best friend. I promise to laugh with you during the good times and support you during the hard times. I will grow with you, learn with you, and encourage you. I vow to love you, be your biggest fan, and always be there for you. I vow to share the covers, not want to talk every day, and make the best memories. <laughs> You're the gravy to my Yorkshire pudding. <laughs> Here's to having many grand adventures and growing old together. Oh. <laughs> gravy Yorkshire pudding, that's, that's quite a part to jump over, okay? Okay, Craig, it's your turn. person that brings the light to the darkest point of my world. Your smile lights up all the halls. You fulfill me in every way, keeping my devotion. You never give up, you try for us. Some of the many qualities I adore you for. Thought about you. My vow to you is to be there through thick and thin, 
Good and bad. Times of sickness and times of health. And to love you all. Craig, will you give Catherine your left hand, please? Yeah, your left one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Catherine, will you take, take Craig's ring and slide it over the finger of his left hand? And would you say after me? Look at him. Craig, I give you this ring. Craig, I give you this ring. As a symbol of the vows. As a symbol of the vows. We have made this day. We have made this day. Catherine, will you give him your left hand? Uh, Craig, will you take the ring? <laughs> I guess you're new at this, are you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> would you slide it over her third finger, please? Craig and Catherine, we have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage. We recognize and respect the covenant of marriage you have made here this day before each one of us as witnesses. Therefore, in the honesty and sincerity of what you have said and done here today, it is my privilege and delight to declare you henceforth to be husband and wife. You may seal your vows with a kiss. Catherine and Craig, may the love which has brought you together continue to grow and enrich your lives. May you meet with courage the problems which arise to challenge you. And may your relationship always be one of love and trust. May the happiness you share today be with you always. And may every word that you have pledged here be a living truth in your lives. And finally, may the home you build together be a place of safety and comfort for all your family members and friends. And let everyone say, Amen. Amen. Flowers. We're now going to go over to this table over here where the signing is going to take place. Arms, feeling like there will be a no, never enough time with, with your beloved. It's the dirtiest, hardest, but most rewarding job there is because at the end of the day, you get to crawl into bed, into bed with your best friend, the weirdest, most annoying, loving, goofy, perfect person that that you know. No, marriage may not be beautiful. Is that a Yorkshire thing? Um, marriage may not be beautiful, but it is one heaven of a ride. It's now my privilege to introduce to you uh, Catherine and Craig, husband and wife, partners in life.